Today we are joined by Sean Pierce, former guitarist for New York trash glam punk band, The Toilet Boys. Uh, they had a pretty good run in the 90s. And uh, man, they were legendary in and around New York and uh, even got to take the, the show on the road. They went overseas and toured with the Red Hot Chili Peppers. If you're not familiar, they're one of these bands that put on just the craziest show you ever saw. Lots of pyro, uh, lots of spitting fire, uh, guitar shooting sparks, a, a front man that kind of looked like a he, she, you didn't really know what to make of this person. They were very visual, very theatrical, very shock rock. And uh, for a hot minute there in New York, they were the hottest band on the scene. They had celebrities hanging out at their gigs. Debbie Harry, Ace Fraley, Dee Dee Ramone, uh, the D-Generation guys. Uh, they were uh, able to put out an album eventually. Uh, I'm showing it right here. It's just called mm -hmm. Toilet Boys. And uh, they did a number of uh, EPs and seven inches, some split seven inches, uh, things like that. You'll have to look pretty hard to find them, but it's out there. So do yourself a favor and look up the Toilet Boys music. And uh, yeah, if you didn't get to see them back in the day, man, they were something else. I was lucky enough to see them. And the reason we got Sean on the show today, oddly enough, is uh, about... 24, 25 years ago, I did a full page, uh, full color feature about four or five pages in Metal Edge magazine on uh, on the Toilet Boys. And uh, that sort of connected us. And they came to Texas and I spent a couple of days hanging out with them and going to their shows. And uh, then Sean and I kind of lost touch over the years. But Richie Stotts, who we just had on the on the Talk Louder podcast, uh, guitarist for the Plasmatics and another New Yorker. Um, Sean commented on our Richie Stotts episode. And so that got mm -hmm. Sean and I talking again recently. And uh, I extended the invitation to see if he'd come onto the show and share some stories with us, revisit the Toilet Boys, tell us what he's up to now. And folks, <laughs> I got to say, this is probably one of my favorite episodes. I mean, everything that guy, he is so full of great stories. It was just pure comedy, I, pure entertainment. I feel awesome. like, um, and this is me being straight up. This is one of those episodes where I don't know shit about Toilet Boys. Right. <laughs> and I had heard the name, of course, because they, it's, you know, it's one of those names that's been over here. I mean, the, first off, the name of the band is the Toilet Boys. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, you know, you, you're like, oh, yeah, man, I got to check that out one day. Well, I don't know. I, 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 true confession, I don't know shit. And when you were telling me about, you know, our schedule this week and my response was, I'm going to learn a lot. Yeah, <laughs> And that happens quite a bit here on the show where I'll bring someone in or Dave will bring someone in and neither of us will be like, yep, seat of my pants. We're going to learn. It's like being schooled. And, uh, you know, Sean's just like you or me. He's a, he's a giant fan of rock and roll. And it doesn't on the Talk Louder podcast, it does not matter if you know who we're talking to, what we're talking about. If you love rock and roll and you you think you've seen some crazy shows before, you know, this this guy has taken rock and roll and lived it and yeah. almost and fucked it. <laughs> he, he, he lived it and fucked it and then lived it again and again. And it tried to kill him and it wouldn't he would he didn't die and he wouldn't die. Yeah. Um, the whole uh, idea behind the band I am in love with just knowing oh, yeah. what their whole thing was now <clears throat> they were freedom fighters uh, they were punk rock they were glam rock they were heavy metal they were I mean what is the plasmatics and they were a little bit of that or a lot yeah. a bit of that uh, yeah. but, but see, but now, you know what we're talking about. It's like, um, it's crossover is what it is. And I feel like Sean, um, our guest today personifies a lot of, uh, 
stance on freedom and and the idea of punk because the term punk means freedom uh freedom of expression uh is but just underline that shit and eat it because that's what it is that's the pill we're taking today um and it's just too bad that they didn't uh i mean the energy it sounds like they had i mean was like almost like the reason they couldn't all of the great things about them were were what was the the things that were attractive about the toilet boys were also what scared people scared the industry away from them so the only way to kind of be seen and heard was to produce your own product and i think that that's what ended up happening with them um, yeah, and the business was changing at that time. We're, you're sure. talking late '90s and early 2000s. It was all new metal and shit. It was right. grunge and new metal, and it's like anything that had, um, you know, <laughs> just look them up. <laughs> you just, just look it yeah. up. I can't even. Uh, you can't even a- attempt to describe it. Right. I mean, You've yeah, already it's... said it. Is the singer a, a man or a woman? Uh, are they going to burn? Is that guy going to burn his hand off tonight? Uh, <laughs> what What is going on right now? I mean, they were they would come out and confuse the audience nightly. Yeah, and I think that that's what a lot of people liked about them. Like, what the fuck is this? This is the greatest show on earth. Or yeah. you just didn't get it at all. And if the singer said something offensive to you they they probably meant it but it was all part of the show too yeah so that can confuse you as well if you want someone to come out and and just say oh it's lovely to be here tonight and we love you and let's have a great time and you know that's going to be offensive to someone who wants them to say something completely the other side of the stick right yeah, which is way more real and way more punk rock and way more freedom fighting than just be just petting the calf and you know being playing nice guy. That's not very rock and roll to me. If you're not if you're not pissing anybody off at least half the time, you're, you're not in a rock wrong. and roll band. Right. <laughs> yeah, you're doing it wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I think the Toilet Boys personified that. Um, and uh, the legacy is living. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Sean tells us he's going through some video footage. He's, uh, he's, he's very into video. He, his day job is in the television graphics industry or something. Yeah, to true, that. true crime documentaries. He's there a, a yeah. graphics designer, basically. Uh, so he's editor. been archiving yeah. toilet box footage since the beginning. And he's in the process of compiling that and hopefully one day uh we'll get to see that um because it sounds like what he shared with us today just sounds amazing and then the stories he shared that aren't captured on footage are are amazing so well yeah, the footage um, that he has i don't think is like a, by law you wouldn't even be able to do the things that he has caught on film <laughs> at a venue in the in public uh, you know the things that they probably pulled off are like yeah, a circus it, act shit, yeah. but it's not a circus, right? Right, yeah. right. It's a, it's a rock and roll punk rock circus. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, look them up. Do yourself a huge favor. Look up the Toilet Boys. Listen to the music. Uh, get to know Sean today. Yeah. If not, just just watch just watch, uh, watch this episode and learn about Sean Pierce and the Toilet Boys just firsthand. Just hang out with us with a cup of coffee or whatever and listen to Sean tell the stories and, and what it stood for and what it stands for now. And 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 you will be entertained whether yes. you whether you look up the Toilet Boys and buy a song a record or find fall in love all over again or learn to hate another band you don't like whatever it is you're going to be entertained and your jaw will drop at least a little bit absolutely yep. absolutely pure entertainment today with sean pierce on the talk louder podcast <laughs>